Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his good friend Dion from Dion Talk. How you doing, buddy? Howdy, doing great. Ready for round three? Kind of excited again because this is one where I got to stir the pot a little. Yeah, I love how you you are the master at just these subtle little play on words that sometimes get just light people up. And you had a comment about the 401k, the mighty 401k, the answer to financial freedom that let people up. So uh, tell us what you said, tell us what you meant, and let's just go through the firestorm that happened after. So uh, tell us about it. So I got a lot of messages and, and, and I appreciate that some people just direct messaged me and didn't like attack me. publicly. <laughs> they didn't want to see the response. I think I basically said in a post, a 401k is a product most people buy without knowing the cost. And actually, I actually just meant the fees, right. the handling fees, the hidden fees that you don't, you don't realize how much just a couple of percent added up over a timeline where whether you're making money or losing money, they're still getting their percent becomes hundreds of thousands of dollars over the duration of how long somebody often has a retirement account. And then some smart people left comments of, did you mean the fees or the opportunity cost? Ah. And I was like, oh, there's smarter people out there than me. <laughs> so you went into it just saying, hey, guys, 2% fees money. over 30 years. That's a real number. Did you know? Uh, but there is an opportunity cost. There is. And I, I do live streams every Tuesday at 4 p.m. And one of my live streams a few weeks ago was retirement accounts suck. <laughs> Because if I had put a bunch of money, like I was before developing an investing strategy for real estate, I was maxing out the 401k. I, you know, I joined the Marines, thought pension. I, I got into law enforcement, thought pension. Both of those didn't work out. And I thought, okay, so retirement account. Got to be putting money away so that there'll be something there. I, knew, I've, I found the fees and there's a lot that, you know, we have a simple plan at our company. So it wasn't even a 401k. It was a simple plan. So the fees are less, but they were still like tens of thousands of dollars in just a few years. The, the expense is there. But when I was maxing out the retirement account and then I started buying real estate, I realized this money is locked away for decades, uh, not paying me now. If I want to take it out, I'm going to pay taxes on it, which is great. We all pay taxes on that kind of stuff. But I'm going to have that 10% penalty. And there was one benefit to having it. I was able to use it as a reserve when I was going to buy rental properties, instead of having to save down payment, closing costs, money for immediate repairs and reserves, I was able to take one of those out, use the retirement account, you know, they'll recognize 50% of it as a reserve. But I bought the first couple of properties. One lowered my housing costs by house, house hacking. The second one started to add cash flow, and, and that cash flow was so much better than what a retirement account was doing. And I realized in 10 years or less, I will make work optional just following a very simple one rental at a time. And I was thinking one rental every two years and the first four years, that's what it looked like. And then the income snowball said, well, every year and then every six months, and then it just got faster. Um, so I was able to walk away from work at eight years. I could have left work. I left at 12, I worked for four more years. And luckily I was impacted by COVID in 2020. So I was able to pull my money out of the retirement account up to $100,000 without the 10% penalty, put the money to work. And it added to me being able to make work even more optional. And then some people, you can continue to work, but I'm choosing not to. At 52, I retired. And I wouldn't be able to if the money was in a 401k. And then some people say something that sounds smart, but frustrates me. They go, you just put it in a self-directed retirement account. And I'm like, okay, great. So let's take passive income from you're going to buy real estate with your self-directed retirement account and turn it into earned income. You're going to pay the most taxes when you go to take the money out. Like that's the dumbest thing to do, but it sounds good. So people repeat it because they heard it somewhere. Um, so I made the comment just saying, Hey, you're putting money in the 401k. Have you thought of the cost? And then people pointed out the opportunity cost and you're absolutely right. Cause money locked away for years or if you have no investing at all, absolutely. The average person have a retirement is better than nothing. Yeah, absolutely. The average person is not watching one rental at a time. 
Yeah, I'll give you my example. My experience is not financial advice. So first and foremost, I do, I put money in my 401k every year since I, I could. Uh, I always got the company match, but this is why. And I wrote about this in One Rental at a Time, my first book. I saw my 401k not as a reserve, but as cheap access to capital. Because I don't know if you guys know this. Your, go check with your employers. In my, in my, for my employer, once I, once I had worked there a year, I could take out fi- up to 50% of my 401k. And what did I just say? My company matched my number. So if I put in 10 grand, they put in another 10 grand, and then I can go borrow my 10 grand for free. Basically, it's not free, but I pay myself back interest. I was basically using my money to buy real estate without paying taxes on it. That's how my warped brain worked. Right, I make ten thousand dollars. I'm in a high tax bracket. I pay three thousand bucks in taxes or four thousand because I'm in California. I keep six. What if I put ten over there? My company puts ten. Then I could go borrow ten. So my stupid ass was like, I get to borrow. I get to use money like real cash instead. Of, and I don't have to pay forty percent taxes. Give me all of that. That's why I used a four hundred one k. And then as soon as I left, again, not financial advice, just what I did. I said. Bye, 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 401k. No IRA for me. I gladly paid the 10% penalty because, again, I saw that coming off my company match and I bought a bunch of real estate. Again, the average person, put your money in a 401k, dollar cost average, live below your means, do all of these things. I do not consider myself average. I never want an average. I believe if you get to four rentals, you change your financial life. But again, my story, not yours, not financial advice. I have no 401k. Every time I changed jobs, I took the money and bought real estate. Just my call, my choice. Most people should not do that. Most people would spend it on stupid shit like cars and vacation and handbags and watches. You stimulus ballers who took out 100k from your 401k because you could and you bought toys. You did that. Me, I buy assets that are on sale. Different, Different options. So I'm with you on contributing for the match. My, my mistake was I can do 12, at the time, 12,000 a year. So $600 a paycheck, I was maxing it. The match was up to 3%. So it was a lot less than that to actually just do the match. So that money does go in there. I, I understand getting the match from your company makes sense. Absolutely. Everybody get the match. But 13 years working at the CDL school, right? The first year I was an instructor and was working my way into getting demoted down to the president of the company. Mm. But basically I watched over a decade of people with, with our simple plan 401k program, right? Take the money out over and over and over. And you know what? It was never, I'm going to take the money out and buy a rental. Right? They bought I toys. Did that in 2020. Yeah. I think we had Dan, the, this guy that I'm going to do an interview with. He's, he's retiring in August, 42 days after me, Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> he is retiring because he also in 2020 took his money out of his retirement account, bought a rental. Genius move. But at all the other times, it's we had a divorce. We're having a wedding. So our wedding needs these funds. Um, we're changing companies. So instead of taking it from our company to that company, we're just going to take it out, pay the penalty, pay the taxes. So the and they party. People, Woohoo! I got exactly, some free money to go party. Free money. <laughs> yeah. So the number, the disciplined person who re- contributes to retirement and invests and then has a better retirement at 59 and a half. I want to have a debate with Joe Kuhn, a YouTube channel here where he retired with a stock portfolio and he maxed out contributions to 401k, Roth, all the the numbers of retirement accounts that there are that I don't even want to know. Yeah. Um, And it made sense to him. Yeah. It works for some people, but but for the person who wants to make work optional, that doesn't want to work until 59 and a half. Mm. um, If you're happy working 40 hours for 40 years to live on 40%, there you go. And what cracked me up on my post was a lot of commenters said, I agree. A lot of commenters said, yeah, it's a scam. But, you know, I didn't use that word, but it's a scam. This was their words. And then some that messaged me and a couple who left comments left p- paragraphs of defending the 401k, defending some, you know, how the average person, in, and again, the average person should do this. Absolutely. But it, it was like the, because the, there are people getting rich off of retirement accounts. Every single year, whether the market goes up or down. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah. My mom, one- my, my mom, basically, uh, she contributed to her 401k um, for 35 years. And uh, 
that's what she's living on now in retirement. So again, I, I have direct experience from someone who worked 40 years, 40 hours for 40 years, and is very, very happy. Shout out my mom. Cause she will watch this video. Well, Dorothy nailed it, but you got it. She also made someone else rich. Oh yeah, for sure. The people managing the account. That is who consistently makes money, whether the market goes up or down, whether you pull your money out, whether you're getting a great match or whether no matter what happens, those fees are paid. And I think five to 10 of the people who commented are those people. Yeah, they get, they get, paid, they get paid the 2%, right? They get paid the two and 20 or whatever the income stream is. Again, folks, um, this title will probably be re retirement accounts suck because that will get the most clicks. I will admit to that. Uh, I will say once again, retirement accounts is the right option for 99% of folks. It wasn't the right option for me. Wasn't the right option for Dion. This is not financial advice. This is our story. Dion, where can people find you? And if they wanted to see this post, where would they go? They can find me right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. And the post is on Facebook. I just, my name, Dion McNeely on Facebook. And the last thing to wrap up with is, this is factually true. This is, this is a fact. 99% of the people aren't in the 1%. That's how they're designated as the 1%. But almost all of our advice comes from people in the 99%. Start looking at what the people that are where you want to be are doing and do that. And the 1% aren't relying on retirement accounts. And we buy assets when assets are on sale. We don't buy toys. Thanks, buddy. Ciao.